Thank you for joining us tonight. Happening right now, demonstrators have blocked a portion of Doty Street downtown, just north of the Dane County Public Safety Building as part of a Take Back the Night event. News 3 Now's Adam Dexter has been following this demonstration and joins us live with the latest. Adam? Well, Charlotte, the group behind us has spent the better part of the last two hours painting that message of defend black women on Doty Street. And they say, well, tonight is a celebration of the efforts to free all black women from the Dane County Jail. They still feel that there is work to be done. Now, the group says today they were able to post bail, a $100,000 cash bail for Kiara Godson, who was the last black woman in the jail. In 2018, Godson was arrested on charges of first degree homicide after she allegedly shot and killed a man near Madison's downtown. However, those behind today's event say that incident has been misconstrued. I think if people saw the video that's out there, then they would see, you can see these men attacking her. You could see them following her and her friends. You could see them beating them. You could see that they wouldn't leave them alone. You could see that they tried to get away from them. This was self-defense. Earlier today, the Dane County Sheriff's Office put out a release notifying that Godson and two others had been bailed out. And just about an hour ago, I spoke on the phone with Dane County Sheriff Dave Mahoney, who told me that all three of these bailouts go against Free the 350's main concepts of bailing out low-level, nonviolent offenders. Now, William says the group has raised nearly $500,000 and bailed out roughly 20 people since protests began in late May. As she says, tonight their emphasis is on raising money for sexual assault resources in Madison in the Dane County area. Adam Dexter live downtown tonight. Adam, thank you.